Hello everybody and welcome back to Tom's computer channel. In the last two episodes I built a diagnostic dead test cartridge for my C64 and a set of uh, test dongles. If you haven't seen these two videos I highly recommend this. Uh, I put the link down in the description. In this episode I built uh, another test equipment. It's um, a diagnostic test harness that uh, dongles are connected with wires and help you for diagnostic and it's also for the diagnostic cartridge. This um, set I built is from uh, Sven Peterson. I put the link to his uh, github down in the description. So enough talk, let's get started. So we're now on the bench and you see all the materials are there. Now we start with the PCB for the user port. And it's time for the PCB holder. First we start with a little bit of cleaning. And now cleaning the table. And then we put the components on there. Solder them on. All values for the resistors are marked and I measured them before and write it on the packaging.
So now we get this sockets on here. Here's on the six screen is a notch. On every socket there is a notch too. I hope you can see this and this is aligned. Then I use electrical tape. You can also use uh, painter's tape or something else. And stick this to the board. So that's stay on place while soldering the first pins. Then flip it over, can put it away, check if I flush to the board, and flip it over again and so the rest of the wires of the legs. And now these are soldered on properly. Now we solder the sockets for the cable. And these are made one by one. And this made till the end. There are two more to go. And then we get the next PCB. So the first PCB is ready. And now the next one. The PCB for the for the cassette port. And it's all the same. If 
you have the lower components. So let's sock it on. So we have this socket on the board. Now we need this connector. Bend those pins slightly inwards. So then you make some flux on it. And then it stays in place. Then you sort it worst. And here are the first two fully assembled PCBs. The next we want to do is the keyboard PCB. First we solder the resistor and the LED. For the next step, we solder the ribbon cable connector. On this, I use my other PCB holder. And to finish this build, the connector for the main board. So now we clean this up and the keyboard door is finished. So the PCBs now are finished and the last thing we do is the 
cable. So the next thing we have to do are the cables. For the cables we need this one. And put it in and see the distance for the cable. This plugs in like this. So first connection is from here to the keyboard connector. And here you have to see you have a twist of pin one. Pin one on the connector is here and on the board is here. So one connector like this. And one connector like this. So we measure the distance. So, and we go here and other boards and long boards the connector is here and then the short board is here. And the twist comes automatically. So here we have the first connector. So you should look if all aligned, then you grab tweezer like this and twist carefully so like this. Put it in. Here the pin one is on this side, it's the red stripe. So you align this one. And then squeeze this and finished. And now we make the other connectors like this. So the last thing we have to do is to put in the three forty six six chips. And then we are Finished. Straighten the pin, use this handy tool. It's not cheap. Yeah, it's not. It's cheap. It's not expensive. But it's very useful. And now we're ready to test.
and then we put it in the case. If you see, it's all connected and now we test the chest harness, the seat is inside, so uh, the C64 had some undefined issues, so I hope a full test can be made. If you see, the test harness works correctly, so let's put it in the case and we are finished. The last thing we have to do is to put these two cards in the 3D print cases, so let's do. So here we have a fully assembled test harness for the C64. Finished. So if you see a test harness build is not that difficult. Um, the links for the for the kit in the github um, I'll put in the description and so that's it was a lot of fun and I see you in the next one bye